one of the really important parts of this whole Everglades restoration. I mean, we live in Big Cypress and, and Everglades National Park is a great place. But when they established the park in uh, 1947, most all parks had been uphill from civilization. This was the first park that was downhill. And so now after, what, 50 years or 40 years, they figured, oh, we've got to clean up the headwaters. So that's what's so great about this. You can't clean the Everglades without cleaning the headwaters. This is the logical place to start. It was up here. Get this clean, then clean Lake Okeechobee, and then clean the conservation area, and then you'll have clean water for the Everglades. So it was just a, a natural thing to do, but everybody was concentrated on Everglades National Park. For some reason, they didn't realize you had to work at the headwaters. And finally, that concept has come to reality, and it's being fixed. You know, when I first uh, started taking pictures in 1989 there, there virtually was nothing to photograph. I mean, it was just one big ditch. I mean, what are you gonna do? But when I came back, I mean, I had all this great foreground, the grasses that were happening. We were out in Kissimmee, I think this was in October. It was full of birds. I, I was amazed how many different varieties were there that weren't there 10 years ago. The, um, the bird population was great. Wow, this is quite a scene, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. To create that, feeling that we have now and that beautiful restoration. It took a lot of cooperation from farmers, ranchers, residents here to work with the conservation and water management and core to get all this accomplished. And it was uh, quite a feat to bring people together and be able to do what we've done here. This is one of the most unique places in the world. I mean, there's nothing like this anywhere. One of the things that's important for people to keep in mind, everybody, environmentals, politicians, you have to have patience, but perseverance. If you don't have perseverance, it doesn't work. But you also have to have patience. If those two work together in the conservation world. <laughs>